Okay, Lori. Hi, Lori. We have not met yet. I'm so excited to see you. She says, I have my first really high-end client tomorrow. Not first client, but I'm new at this. Um, she has a huge mansion-like house and has asked me to organize her kitchen, office, pantries. There's three or four pantries and closets. I am very nervous. The house is gorgeous. How can I impress her? Well, Lori, first of all, um, no, super congratulations because you obviously already got the client, so you obviously have already impressed her. I, um, I don't know anything about you or your background or your story, but like that is awesome, and it just proves the fact that people will pay you if they love you and if they feel a connection with you and they want you in their home. So, props to you for that. Um, if you get a chance before you go, now you're not gonna. I don't know. Um, do you have an idea, Lori, already where you guys are going to start? tomorrow because obviously you can't do all of that in one day. Um, if you know we're going to start tomorrow, like I would just like research like a few ideas on Pinterest and um, go ahead and think of some things that you think would work for her in her space and um, uh, the kind of lifestyle, the lifestyle that she has, like whether it's, you know, kids or whatever her like um, kind of thing is at this point and make some, make some suggestions, suggestions, but the biggest thing about impressing her is just the fact that you are willing to customize your service for her. So, you know, that you're willing to listen to her and not just impress upon her the ideas that you think are, you know, my way or the highway. I think that the biggest thing is just like being willing to listen and being willing to be flexible. Okay, Lori says, I press send too soon. She's in her 60s, works from home, and entertains a lot. Okay, okay, perfect. Um... So, it sounds to me, just from what you wrote, it sounds like she wants things to look good. She wants things to be, to be picture perfect, like, you know, ready to photograph for a magazine. So, I would show her ideas or suggest ideas that are really going to be um, beautiful and practical, but mostly beautiful because that's what she, that's what probably matters to her the most. Now, this is without me knowing anything about the state of her house right now. Now, if it's, if it's like, you know, um, a war zone from uh, whatever just happened, like she just moved from somewhere else or whatever, like you are going to have a lot more to work through. But it sounds to me like the way to impress her is to show her that you care about the same things that she cares about, which is, um, you know, impressing, like impressing other people and being like proud to show her home off like when she has people over. Alicia says, do you take drills, screwdrivers, drywall anchors, etc., with you to sessions so you can help hang shelves and stuff? Nope, I don't. I, I don't, like, that's not the way, I don't think that, like, my clients really want me to spend that time, like, actually hanging their shelves. Um, I have put together or fixed, like, furniture before, but that's not something that I regularly, like, offer or include in my service. Um... Because they'll generally say, like, I will have, like, they have somebody who can help them do that. Whereas we can, like, continue going with the momentum of clearing out their space um, or figuring out how to reorganize things. So, and it's kind of along the same lines of, like, when somebody's moving, if they want me to spend their time that they paid for, like, you know, they're paying me, like, an average of, like, $65 an hour. I mean, well, it, it depends on their package. But they're paying me, like, $50, $60 an hour when it comes down to it. If they want me to pack boxes... Uh, I'm thinking like this is not like packing the boxes is not the best use of my time but if that's what they want me to do I will do it um, so this again is kind of like a judgment call on on for you guys like if that's what your client sincerely needs you to do and that is gonna represent like the best use of your time in her mind I would just go ahead and do it um, I don't bring I do not bring the tools with me to do that because that's I'm like I'm not like a handy woman do everything like that's not my that's not my thing Jane says going along with Alicia's question above it seems natural that professional organizers should be in, in, able to install simple shelving is this something to learn I also don't have anyone to recommend to clients my husband does it at our house okay um, yeah do find some recommendations in your area of people of just like regular handyman or some kind of service that can come do that if they if that's what they really need or get your husband to be part of your service. If he is willing to do that, that'd be fun. Um, no, but like seriously, they, 
Like installing shelving is not what a professional organizer really does. Like designing the way that your the their closet is gonna be laid out, like that takes so much more creativity and brain power. But like you being the one to take the drill and 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 put it together, no. And especially like think about guys like if they if they buy a um like a custom closet solution from um, you know, any number of places, like those people will do it all for you. Like I work with a custom shelving company or like a custom closet company in my area and like they, they do all of that. So I don't, like I'm the one who helped consult with them on like, okay, here's the stuff that you have. Like here's the, um, here's the lifestyle or here's like the, the needs that you have. Um, and, and then the closet company comes and does all that. Like, I don't, nobody was ever expecting me to be the one to, like, put that together for them. So, so my answer to that is just generally no. And, and that's not something that you need to feel like you need to include in your package that is going to sell them on it. Because, you know, generally, like, that represents such, like, a very, 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 very small amount of your clients and your, your time. Um... Alicia says, I'm pretty sure my client wants me to do that since she is just moving in. I'm a pro at it. I just wondered if you did it as well. Oh, well, if you're already good at it and you already feel comfortable with it, then I would say just go for it. Like, if you, if you feel like that's something that you can knock out really quickly, um, then that's all part of, like, the value of your service is that you can just, like, help them get it done. Juan says, what programs have you found that work well with paperless home organization besides project, man besides project management systems like Asana? Um, Don, I think that the best things are actually kind of the simplest things. So like Google Drive, like putting documents in Google Drive or helping them like um, uh, Evernote, Dropbox, like things that are pretty basic and simple that you already know about. Those are, I think those are going to be the ones that are easiest um, as far as... Um, you know, getting things uploaded. Like, let's see, um, you know, photo organization applications. I mean, I personally use Amazon Prime Photos. Like, you can use, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of things now. Like, iCloud, like, that really helps. Like, just iCloud, like, the I, iCloud in itself is, like, the number one thing that people ask me about digital organizing. They're like, how does it work? Um, how does it work? Can you show me how it works? Can you show me what it means? Can you show me how to use it from my phone? And I'm like, yes, let me help you. So there you have that. So um, just think, things like that. And then like as far as like documents, um, like helping them scan them in uh, or showing them like how to scan them in, um, especially if it's something like a business that works from home. Like I have, I have a long-term client that has a business from home. So she bought this um, scanner that's almost like, like a portable scanner. I can't show you with my hands, um, but anyway, it's something that she just plugs in and then like zip, like her little um, papers go right through it and her receipts go right through it. So digitizing receipts, like that's something that would be really helpful for people who have a business, um, that kind of thing. So like look into like a, like a portable scanner and something like really basic like Evernote and then um, uh, just helping them like store it all like not so much the application that matters but storing it all in one place and helping them be able to find it again like that's really important is it worth it to pay someone to do SEO to do SEO for my website so it hopefully shows on the first result page I did my own so far Yoast SEO on WordPress awesome but still I'm coming up on the second and third result pages based on the city search okay Lori, um, how long have you had your websites or your blog or, you know, the things that you're trying to rank for, like how long have they been alive? Because sometimes it just takes time for them to be, to like age a little bit as far as SEO goes. Um, I have never paid someone, somebody to do SEO for me. I mean, one of the reasons why I recommend um, a service like Find My Organizer so much is that I have never searched in a city where Find My Organizer didn't come up first. So if you can be on the first page of results for Find My Organizer, I think you're like, that's a big, that's a big hack. Like that's a way to like move yourself up um, in visibility. So work on that first and also um, just try Googling some different strategies for SEO and making sure that you're optimizing as much as possible. Um, not just on, um, I mean, Yoast is really good. I don't, I thought that they just did that for, um, like text on your page, but there are other things like the way that you title your pages and the way that you, um, title your, um, images, um, that will help a lot 